Meet Harper, a playful and loving whippet. When Harper's behavior suddenly changed, her owner, Dr. Michael Mazanko, knew something was wrong. I had to go to work and she just didn't, she just didn't look right. So I picked her up and she was really floppy. And, and so I knew right then I had to bring her right over here. Michael brought Harper to Ohio State's Veterinary Medical Center, where Dr. Julie Byron and a team of experts diagnosed her with hypoadrenocorticism, or Addison's disease. It's a disease process where her body does not make enough stress hormone, like cortisol, and there are several other hormones as well, and so that means her body cannot respond well to stress. Harper was a pretty sick little dog when she first came in. The treatment she was given at Ohio State outlined a way to manage the disease and allow Harper to reclaim her quality of life. With the Addison's disease, this was a big scare, and I just knew they would take good care of her. And they called me all the time, and I got little slips that showed all the students and volunteers that held her when she was in intensive care. I am a big advocate of making sure that the owner feels as much a part of the care team as myself or my students or my technicians because really ultimately the owner of the pet is the one who's going to be watching them at home, doing the follow-up, that sort of thing. So I want them to feel involved. I want them to trust me to ask questions when they don't understand what's going on. I have no problem repeating myself. As a physician, I really believe in educational institutions. And as a person, I can't tell you how fond I am of the medical students. If you run into one of the students or the residents or one of the vets, they always remember you, ask about your dog, remember the dog's name. It's, it's pretty amazing. My dogs would mean everything to me. And, and when Harper was here and in, when she was in intensive care, I didn't worry at all. I knew she'd be fine. And I knew they, they would be real straight up with me about uh, what was going on. I, I mean, I couldn't be more grateful. My dogs are very important to me.